hello this is marina from lily grace crochet today we're gonna be um making a fun project a coffee cup sleeve cozy whatever it's gonna fit the regular this is what i have for measuring the regular re uh, disposable cups you can also use it for the starbucks reusable cups and whatever the standard size it can be for like a venti grande cup size <laughs> so let's get started for today's projects uh, i'm gonna use two colors of yarn these are my colors uh, golden and kind of emerald green they're kieran simply soft colors um, this the gold color is officially called it's called autumn maize and this green one is same 100 percent acrylic yarn name of it is dark sage and it comes it's 350 15 yards uh, and the recommended hook size is <clears throat> five millimeter but i'm um crocheting quite loosely so i'm going to be using a four and a half millimeter hook so this is this is everything we're going to need today four and a half size hook i use this uh, ergonomical ones scissors for cutting off edges yarn and you can use either darning needle or um, <clears throat> crochet whatever you prefer to use for the weaving the ends um, at the end of the project so let's get started do the slip knot the way you normally do it i just do it like this like a little and start crocheting and then I just pull it through the first loop and get it tight so once I did that I start counting so I have one two three four five six seven eight so we're gonna chain eight and then we're gonna um, single crochet into every stitch starting from second stitch uh, from the hook. So first one will skip and start on the second one. So just single crochet. This, um, this piece is gonna be that ribbing around the top of the cup and you'll see it how it starts to play out once we start once we get to the a little bit more farther along in the project so that was the first row sorry so you complete all the every um, st stitch into the chain space then chain one and turn your work around. And you'll just do again a single stitch into every space, but you're not going to go into this one, not into space underneath and not both, but you're gonna go into the back of the V, back loop, I guess. So if you look from above, there is like a little uh, let me bring it closer. You see like a little braid or V stitches on top. So we're gonna go into here and do a single stitch into every one of those for the second row. Just like that it actually works up pretty fast so for the second row and consecutive ones what I do for the last stitch instead of doing just the back loop I'm going to do it under both like that 
that makes the edging more even. And then we chain one and turn around again. And let's do another, maybe another row or two together. And then you will work independently and I'll meet you um, after a little bit. So this is how we do it. And the last one again, we go under two, chain one, turn around, and again, single stitch in the back loop. Two loops, turn around. Okay, continue working independently and I'll meet you in a little bit. So I've crocheted few rows so far. Just wanted to show you the progress. So you see nice ribbing that's happening. This is going to be the top of our um, cup sleeve. So we're going to crochet until you have long enough to wrap around the whole cup on the top, like on the wider part of it. Uh, depending on the size you're going for. Uh, I can count how many rows I have once I get to that point and I'll let you know. Uh, however, it might be different for you depending on the yarn you're using and um, the tightness of your uh, stitch, um, the tension that you use and the size of the hook. So it may not be exact same count for you as for me, but I will let you know what, uh, how many rows I ended up having. Another thing I wanted to um, point your attention to is make sure when you're doing this uh, ribbing stitch uh, to not lose any, <laughs> once in a while count how many stitches you have. It should be for me, it's still six, one, two, three, four, five, six for the row. Um, sometimes you can either accidentally make it bigger or smaller if you're not being careful. So for example, if you start crocheting, not from the second one from the hook, but from the first one, that will make your row longer. And then each row is going to get longer, uh, wider, and it's not gonna be an even uh, strip. It's gonna be like a trapezoid. Uh, and same thing if you skip the, the the second one accidentally and start from the next one, then you're going to end up with less stitches at some point. And again, it's not going to be an even uh, strip that you're going for. So just want to make sure that you are uh, starting and ending with the stitches that are where you're supposed to be. And once in a while, check your work and make sure that you still have the, the same number of chains in a row to make sure that your project is not being uneven. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so here we go, I'm back. Just counted the rows that I made and I have 33 rows here of ribbing. I, I just tried it on my cup and it fits perfectly. You want it to be kind of uh, not too loose. It won't, you want it to be snug a little bit so it doesn't slip off when you put it on the cup. So that's just the right size for me. You don't want it to be loosey-goosey. So next we're gonna connect um, two sides. And the way we're gonna do it, it's gonna be like this. Um, we're gonna put this together and so in the last row when you finish don't uh, chain up one just um, finish with your last stitch and then you're gonna put these two together uh, I will take my hook out 
go right here to the first corner one and take this one out like this and then we are going to be crocheting the back loop of the front one and the back loop of the back one uh, the back piece so we're gonna go here and here and pull through and again back loop if you're seeing my hands and back loop and pull through and pull through so it's a slip stitch or slip stitching them together and pull through back loop here back loop of the back piece pull through and pull through and the last one same thing back loop and back loop pull through and pull through so that's our connection and then we turn our work inside out or whether the right side in <laughs> out and we are going to do um, we're going to cut off this first color yarn gonna leave a little bit longer of a tail so it doesn't run in and we're gonna get the second color which is our forest green or sage green or emerald green whatever you want to call it and of course you want you can use whichever colors you like that's the ones i'm using these ones because that's what my customer who made the order chose so i and that's what i'm showing my tutorial on so we're gonna chain one here and do a single stitch in every row so we're gonna pull this two and then grab the the next color and finish it with the next color and then pull the the ends like this and we're gonna try to weave them in as we go so it's gonna be one single crochet into each row all the way around i'm kind of trying to hold the tension on those two um, little yarn pieces so they're uh, so that, that the work looks nice and neat and doesn't go too loose so we're trying see i'm working and i'm making them be in between so these are my two loose ends i'm going through grabbing the yarn and pulling it out so my, the ends are inside and then i don't have to weave them at the end of my work so I'll just continue doing single crochet into each one here. Okay, I guess I'll meet you at the end of this row. So I reached my last stitch here. I'm going to connect our two rows. So I'm going to just grab under the first V stitch, pull through and slip stitch. So they are now connected. The next I'm going to chain two and I'm skipping one and into the next one we're gonna start doing puff stitch so 
it's gonna be yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and yarn over and pull through so you have three loops on your stitch so that's like six total one two three four five six seven or seven actually so one and six of this little puff and then you pull through all seven of them together and pull through and then you skip one and do the puff stitch again into the second one again yarn over pull through yarn over and go into the same space pull through yarn over and pull through that's our three and then we're gonna pull through all seven of them so to make it easier what you do is turn your hook down not don't go this way because it's gonna get cut you're gonna turn it down and just pull through and it might take a little practice at first it might be like ah oh, it's so hard but then once you've been doing this stitch for a while it will become like a second nature and it's not gonna get stuck again so much and also what you're gonna want to pay attention to is when you're doing this um, don't make them too tight i guess watch your tension and again yarn over yarn over two and yarn over pull through so we have our three double crochets i guess they're not full double crochets and then you pull through oops <laughs> see sometimes it even happens to me so one two three grab and go through all seven of them and then one chain stitch to um, or single crochet to make the puff stitch stay together and then we skip one and go into the next one and do the same thing again and we keep doing that every other uh, single stitch from the previous row um, gets a puff stitch and we do that all the way around okay i'll see you at the end of the row so i've done puff stitches all the way around and i'm at the end of the row again here we're gonna connect with the slip stitch just go into like this second chain pull through Oops. the yarn is splitting a little bit pull through and pull through so that's the slip stitch and then we um, chain two and now we're gonna do the same thing the puff stitches but instead of going every other single crochet we're going to go into these spaces uh, so that's gonna be the second row from here so again one two three and pull through all, all of them and again one two three pull through all of them and that make sure that you don't tighten them up like pull them out a little bit longer then it's going to be easier for you to pull through all all those loops on the hook and one and two and three and pull through and pull through and one and two and three and pull through and so on till you finish this row okay i'll meet you at the end 
So we're at the end of row two. I'm gonna do the last puff, puff stitch. And pull through all, all of them. And that's it. So here we're gonna connect them again by slip stitch. And chain two and the third row is going to be exactly the same as the second row just want to make sure that you alternate um, this and don't make the cup any wider so you don't want to be adding puff stitches where they don't belong so I'm going to go I'm gonna skip this one and go to all the way over here one two three and one two three and continue till the end of this row and then in the next I'll meet you at the end and next row will start decreasing because the cups as we know they are going more narrow towards the bottom so we want to adjust the size for the cup shape okay okay so here we are at the um, end of row three of puff stitches and we're gonna do the last one of the puff stitches and connect and so we're connecting, slip stitch, and yarn two, I mean, chain two. And in this row, we're gonna decrease every third um, puff stitch, and I'll show you how to do it. So first one, we do as normal, one, two, three, pull through. And second one, one, two, three pull through actually every fourth um, we're doing three as normal one two three and pull through so we have three puffs and the fourth one is going to be a little different so we're gonna do one two three and then we don't pull through we go to the next space and do three more there. One, two, three. And then we'll pull through all of them together. This might be a little bit um, trickier. First time you're doing it, if you haven't done puff stitches before, but uh, like I said before, once you get used to it, it gets easier. And then you do three more normal ones. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. Okay, so if we have three again, and they decrease one, two, three and next space one two three and then pull through all of them and connect and again three normal ones one two three pull through one two three And one, two, three. Okay, we have three, and this one is the decrease one. Rest one, two, three, and again one, two, three into the next space, and then pull through all. See. 
Sometimes if the yarn is a little splitty, um, it's harder to do because it gets caught on the split things, split, um, what you call them, strands of yarn. Three. And we'll connect. And I want to measure at this point and see if the tightness or the size, the size I'm going for. So I'll grab my cup and look at that. It's like a glove. Can you see it? Let me check. So that's what we have so far. I think we'll make one more row of puff stitches without decreasing and then we'll do our final two rows. I'll show you. Beautiful. I like it so far. So I am at the end of row five of the puffs. One, two, three, four, five. I have last one to make. One, two, three. And then we connect and connect the rows with the slip stitch. And this time we only chain one. And we're going to be doing a single crochet into every V stitch space up here. See those V stitches? We're just going to single crochet into every one of them. Oops, not the half double, single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet, and so on and so forth. That's pretty easy, especially if you've been crocheting for a while, you know what the single crochet is. So we'll just go through the loop, pull through, and pull through two of them and continue single stitching till the end of this row okay i'm at the end of the first single crochet stitch row the last one and then we connect single crochet i mean slip st stitch and then one chain up and then for this another row we do Again, single crochet stitch into every um, V stitch space. And so on, just single crochets. All the way around. So we'll have a little bit of a tighter cuff around the bottom of the cup so it holds on your cup. I will see you in the, at the end of this row. So at the end of the row, we're gonna connect again, chain up and do another round of the single crochet. And basically you can do single crochet for like three rows or four rows, depending on the um, how tall you want your cup sleeve to be. We can even finish here with the two rows or I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do two more. That's how I like them, okay? So here we go. I have a total of four single crochet rows. I'm gonna finish this last one and connect them. And we are done. I'm gonna cut my um, yarn tail and pull through, get it tight. And all we have to do is get this little end to hide and so it doesn't come apart 
So I usually do it just with the hook because I'm lazy <laughs> and I don't want to be searching for the yarning needle. But for some of you, it might be easier with the yarning needle and that's how you do it. I'll show you. So basically, you just put your, um, yeah, so I cut it on the needle and you go in the back loops of the stitches. You can go a few at the time. You can go different directions to make sure it stays put and doesn't accidentally get pulled out when you're washing it or doing something else. So that's how I usually do it. Just hide it on the back side. And I think it's safe to cut now. You just cut it and pull a little so the end hides. And here we go. We have our cup sleeve. Let's try it on here. And look at that, it sits perfectly, look. Let me know if you like it. I think it's perfect. Once again, you can make it any color you like. You can um, make it shorter here if you want. I like, I happen to like the size just right. Um, so this is what we have. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you uh, wanted to, me to go slower or faster. Or if you still had any questions, let me know. I would be happy to answer any of your questions. And I'll see you next time.